Hello everyone, Sigmulator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. We are 100% done here now. I finished scanning. Oh no, we're not. We need to go over here. In ahead of ourselves. Right, what's going on here? Anything good? Oh, we've got a side mission. All right, let's go see what's going on. Explore your safe games to Mass Effect 3 if you survive. I will do. All right, what's going on here then? Uh, Harrod, good money for this useless heap of signal error. Detected serious caches of resources here on this planet, but memory leak detected. Alright, I said sure. The thing leaks feel like a volus after a mug of wrinkle. But I can't deal with that. But I can deal with that. So I took off and laid out a trail of power cells leading from where I unloaded the mech. Too bad package, please restart, so I could at least get the thing moving. And now, illegal fault detected, won't even move. Damn that swindling Elcor. Alright then. Piece of sh signal error. <laughs> oh, that's a very unsatisfied customer. You go there. You go there. And you go there. Our cell. There'll be a lot of this. Um, you are there, Chief? You want to watch where you're going? Cell. Maybe he'll face the right way going forward. No, all right then. Yeah, I was trying to see why the guy wasn't happy with his purchase. He's done. We've been spotted. Not today, thanks. Another power cell. Oops. Tally, where have you been? Oh, 
Um. Are you going to get to where I need you to get to in time? Another power cell. Alright, do you think... Oh, he's facing the right way now. There we go. Alright. He fulfilled his mission. Good job. Well, there we go. <laughs> Found a whole bunch of resources. Mech unsalvageable. Yeah, that mech was pretty messed up. Alright, let's go do some more scanning and see what else we can do. Oops. Oh, God. Alright. That's this area now 100% done. Excellent. Right. Done, 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 done. Perfect. I am a happy chap. Right, let's go back to the Citadel because there's a package we need to pick up for that Solarion on Omega. And there's a package on Ilium as well, if I remember rightly. So let's get these out of the way. Uh, Doc. Uh, where did he say that was? Right, journal, assignments, uh, go to Morab's shop on the Citadel or Eternity on Ilium and find packages marked for Ish, uh, Morab's shop. Is he on the bottom level? Oh, I've gone to the wrong one. Um, was it this one? Yes, this one. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Uh, subject and her bell kit, uh, Bechtel, is a member of the criminal organization headed up by Arya Talok. Uh, often considered the pirate queen of Omega, while Arya's gang is mostly airtight and Toe has an eye toward outside work. Whether this is an exploitable hole, uh, we're not sure. This is Arya Talok, after all. I see. Maybe we should take that to Arya instead of Ish. Right, let's go to Ilium now. pick up the other package it says that eternity that 
maybe that's where the qu the quarian slave uh, will turn up now because I know there's a quarian slave mission to do there. The life mode just can't remember when it becomes available. Uh, Ilium. There it is. Let's head back to eternity. Check out the stores here, see if there's anything else to buy. Good. I'm glad he got arrested. Little scumbag. Do you have anything oh. flash here? I want something that says Got to be something in here. Ah, yes, here we go. It's okay. I'll think of something. You said synthetic insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assumed they would want an AI tech. Hello. Can I help you with something? I need you to let that slave go. Now. We prefer the term indentured servant. And I know that Batarian slavers have made humans understandably prejudiced against slavery. Before you do anything hasty, know that this quarry and signed the agreement voluntarily and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the quarry and convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. Uh, we humans have many reasons to have issues with slavery. But if I bought her myself, I could let her go and everyone would be happy. A gallant offer with three problems. First, her technical skill merits a contract of several hundred thousand credits. There's also a fee for freeing me before my service period ends. Exactly. And finally, you are clearly a traveler. Her service contract requires that she remain on Ilium. I don't want them to take me off to a mine somewhere. Why did this Quarian sign herself into slavery? I tried to play the stock market. I'm good with numbers and I thought I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. Then I took out an illegal loan. Get the picture. As part of our agreement, I paid off her debts. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references. If slavery is legal, then why are you trying to sell the quarry? I don't keep service contracts myself. I'm a contract broker. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. So slavery is legal on Ilium? Indentured servitude lasts a set amount of time or until agreed upon conditions are met. Ilium must approve all contracts. The law limits what restraint or corrective options I can use and what tasks I can legally assign her. I'm also legally responsible for her behavior and health. Abuse is absolutely forbidden. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. Alright. You're hurting for things to do. Can I help you with something? How would you like to get your hands on an expert quarry and AI program? If you'd like to submit a resume, I... Wait. Is this that slave? Synthetic Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. It sounds like Synthetic Insights is worried about its reputation. Hiring this quarry would help. Buying a slave helps our reputation. How exactly do you figure? Purchase the contract, minus the fee for early emancipation, then free the Quarian and garnish wages for reimbursement. I know the migrant fleet would be grateful and more likely to make purchases from you. Interesting. 
We look good for hiring a quarian, and we can say that we freed slaves out of the goodness of our hearts. All right, I'll run up a contract. The board might wet its pants, but we could use the good publicity. This quarian had better be good, though. All right. Wait, what was that? It's okay. Our amino assets are uh, shipping routes into the terminal system. Don't worry, our contact is a Vitarian gentleman named Anto. He's one of Aretilok's uh, flunkies that we're keeping his piles well greased, and he should offer safe passage through the systems. As long as we stay beneath Aria's notice, we should be fine. All right, yeah, we should probably go have a word of Aria after this. Synthetic Insights just sent over the contract. I cannot thank you enough. I'm happy to help. Here, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get this service contract transferred. Thank you. I'll stay out of trouble this time. All right. There we go. We're pretty much now all done on Ilium. Let's head back to the Normandy. I really hate customers who do that. Uh, this is the best you'll have, I'll make do. Shut up, dude. Shut up. I worked in retail for many years. I don't like customers. <laughs> they are not good people. Some of them are, but an overwhelming majority of them are just so arrogant and rude to uh, retail workers. It's unnecessary and uncalled for. <clears throat> All right, let's head to Omega. Or Omega, or Omega, however you want to pronounce it, it's all good with me. Right, where's Omega? There it is. Mm, yeah. I'm gonna take these to Aria. I think the last time I played this, I gave the information to the Solarian, and I can't remember what the consequence was. So this time I'll go to Aria, see if it does anything. Yeah, the Grizz. Which one's Anto? Ah, there he is. What do you need? Ah, okay. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. Why don't you find a nice girl to keep you warm in the meantime? What? Do you know a Solarian named Ish? I know of him. He's collecting information about you. Plans to sell it to the highest bidder. I have no secrets. None at all. Take a look at this data. What? Where did you get this? This, this is privileged information. This could hurt Arya, couldn't it? It would be bad for me, yes. But Arya, no. One of her lieutenants being involved in this shows a big flaw in her organization. What do you want from me? Hmm. Just so you know, someone's gunning for you. Someone usually is. I got this one. Thank you for the heads up. Alright. Do you have anything to say about it now? No, Why okay. Nice 
All right, never done that one before. Interesting. Come on, let me in. Interesting, he's not there anymore. I don't think she is, dude. All right. Anto alerted to Ish's plans left to go speak with Solarian. No one has seen Ish since. Whoops. Right. Oh. Uh, uh, the other scout was found, although mentally. Tell the chief scout. Okay. Let's head back to uh, uh, Omega then. Missions. Stop the collect. Right, okay. Yeah, I want to make sure I'm as close to 100% as I can be. Oh, then mind, let's head back to, to Chunker then briefly. No, I didn't want to land. Oh. Right. There we go. I don't want to do what I did with Ferros and forget to tell Fi Dan that I took care of the Geth. Uh, Chunker over here. Oh, it's there. <coughs> Excuse me. Sound is out of sync. Sure you will, big fella. Alright, where's the chief scout? I think he was over here, wasn't he? Scout made it back. We've got him at the tent. Doesn't remember much beyond getting tortured, but he remembers you. Said you yelled at him until he got his hump out of that basin back here. You've got a quad, human. Thanks for saving my scout. Saves me having to train another one. You see a lot of action around here? Enough. Varen here and there, and snakes in any of the water safe enough to drink. Rex has made ceasefire agreements with some of the clans. But I still have to patrol. Keep them honest. What does the scout commander do? We find out where the enemies are, and we make them think that there are too many of us to screw with. Sometimes that means harassing the perimeter, taking out a generator or two. Other times, we play hide and seek. We leave lots of tracks, exaggerate our numbers. That's not recon, that's sabotage. It's a lot easier to count their numbers once you blow some of them up. <coughs> Everyone knows where Erdnot is, human. It's not like we can hide. So every clan of Tachanka encroaches on the other clan's borders? Borders? This is Tachanka. Our borders are determined by the range of our guns. We are what we are, human. If we didn't fire at them, they wouldn't take us seriously. Don't your storehouses have automated defenses? Why bother? Half of what we eat is vermin. 
And if we get hold of defense systems, we don't use them to guard grain. We've got weapons stockpiles to take care of. Beyond that, our women and children get the security. Taking care of your food supply would help more in the long run. If Clan Jordan kills our guards and helps itself to our well-secured food, there won't be a long term. This is Tachanka. Having power and clean water means we're living in luxury. Your enemies go after civilians? Easiest way to wipe out a clan. Women and kids can't fight, but they're always outnumbered if another clan goes after them. If it's women and children are killed, a clan's hope for the future is lost. It falls apart. We don't do that, though. Rex's orders. Even if it costs us a battle, we don't fire on non-combatants. Thanks for the information. Don't know about the rest of your species, but you're good in my books, human. At first I thought it was a waste of ammunition just to kill incoming vermin. Now, I think if these Erdnot can pinpoint such small mammals with these guns, they'll make short work of an incoming invasion force. Good point. No, thanks. Right. Should all be done now. Yep, just arrival to do. We might as well make a start on that. I don't think don't think we'll get it finished. Uh in this episode. That's fine, we've got all the small stuff out the way now. All the planets are scanned. I've res I've mined as many resources as I can gather. So all good in the hood. What? Outrageous. All right. Let's get this done. Oh, I want this planet's here to scan as well. Let's get this to 100%. Probably not going to be any other missions just these to scan so we'll be right back all right here we are this is pretty much the last thing we can do before uh, getting the IFF because we've, we've done everything else I'm certain And following Hackett's orders, it's just us. That's not working. We've been spotted. Who are you talking to, Shepard? The Vitarians must send their prisoners down here to die. I have to find Dr. Kenson now. Can I drop down there? No. Alright. I saw that. This place is run down, even for a prison. Hello. Get your hands off me. Uh. 
I can't go through there yet. I saw you. Before I go up there, Racist. This should come in handy. All right, nothing else here. Need to avoid contact where possible. We're in a secret stealth mission after all. And that's where those Batarian guards are, so we'll ignore them. through here just in case now we're good we'll, we will leave them to it that you would call us terrorists. Come from. Well, maybe I don't need to be stealthy. Yeah, 
You think, but no. Good. Hey, what? Okay. doing then Okay. Don't need to do anything else with it. Fair enough. Alright, I'm starting to remember what I need to do. Well, that turns a bit of a dumbass. Who are you? What are you doing? Dr. Kenson, I'm Commander Shepard. I'm here to get you out. Commander Shepard? I'd heard you were alive. Hackett must have received my message. We're not safe here. Can you walk? I'm 
Fine. Just give me a moment. We have to go. Now. If we can find a console, I can hack security. Make us an escape pod. Alright, guess we're done with the stealth. Then we'll find one. Go. Ready. This is a cell block. There should be a security console here somewhere. Alright. Let's go find one then. All right then, boys, bring it on. We need to close the door we came in through. Keep them out. They're coming through that door in the back. Lock it down. All right then. Yeah, I'm on it. How? How? I'm knocking all doors to the hangar. Still need more time. Tracking network. Good stuff. Watch the other side. More enemies on the elevators. <laughs> There's an elevator that leads up to the hangar. I'll bring it down. Almost done. There we go. That did it. Let's move. Right. Let me just uh, stock up. <sighs> no. How about you let us escape? The hangar doors are hard locked. We'll have to get those open the old-fashioned way. Leave that to me. Incoming. Hey!
There we go. Alright, let's go. It's too hot in here. Take out those guards. Nice shot. Right, can we go now? Yeah. Bye, Batarian bitches. Engaging autopilot. We should be well out of range before they get their security measures unscrambled. Do you think they'll come after you? I'm not taking any chances. Batarians don't take kindly to humans who plan to destroy their mass relays. So the charges against you are true? Well, to be fair, that's about half the story. My people and I were here investigating rumors of Reaper technology out in the fringes of this system. I guess you found some. We found proof that the Reapers will be arriving in this system. When they get here, they'll use its mass relay to travel throughout the galaxy. We call it the Alpha Relay. From here, the Reapers can invade anywhere in the galaxy. So you decided to destroy it? Exactly. Doing that would stop the Reapers' invasion. Even at FTL speeds, it'd be months or years before they got to the next relay. We came up with what we just called the Project. A plan to launch a nearby asteroid into the relay and destroy it before the Reapers could arrive. Of course, the resulting explosion would probably wipe out the system. How did you plan to launch an asteroid into a mass relay? Moving an asteroid just requires thrust and guidance which are readily available in Omega's salvage yard. Get the right amount of power and a good VI to drive it, and you can pretty much just point and shoot. I've always heard that mass relays are indestructible. I've heard that too, but I think it's more that nobody's willing to find out what happens when one is destroyed. And, well, we plan to slam a small planet into the thing at very high speed. By our calculations, that's more than enough. Is the project still operational? I... I imagine it is. We were one button press away from launch when the Batarians arrested me. Why do you think destroying the mass relay would destroy the entire system? Mass relays are the most powerful mass effect engines in the known galaxy. The energy released from a relay's destruction would probably resemble a supernova. This is a remote system, but just over 300,000 Batarians live on the colony where they held us. The explosion would undoubtedly kill them all. How were you caught? We've been smuggling Starship parts from Omega. Thrusters, Guidance, an aftermarket ESO core. The Batarians thought that looked suspicious. A few days ago, I took a few of the men on a scouting trip, and the Batarians pounced on us. They never found our actual base. That's good. I still don't see how you learned about this supposed invasion. The evidence came from what we call Object Row, a Reaper artifact we discovered among the asteroids near the relay itself. When we get back to Arcturus Station, I'll explain everything and provide copies of all our notes on the artifact. What is a Reaper artifact doing on an asteroid? We don't know, or even what its purpose is. Some things are just too old or large to comprehend. Even a Reaper thousands of years dead contains power. Their artifacts are worthy of study, regardless of their purpose. How exactly does a Reaper artifact give you proof of an impending invasion? It showed me visions of the Reaper's arrival. Much like your Prothean beacon, I imagine. The Reapers are coming, Commander. That much I know for certain. If you're working near a Reaper artifact, how have you avoided indoctrination? We've been very careful. We know what we're dealing with. You're not speaking to a child, Shepard. I saw what Sovereign did at the Citadel. Trust me, I know what's at stake. The stakes are too high. If you were willing to destroy a whole system over this, I want to see your proof. I guess I can't argue with that. Give me a moment. Kenson to Project Base. Affirmative. 
And I've got Commander Shepard with me. Shepard? Really? Tidy up the lab. The Commander needs to confirm the artifact. All set. Just sit back and relax. We'll be there in no time. Suspicious. Arcturus Station. Here we are. Welcome to Project Base. What's this? That's our countdown to arrival. When that gets to zero, the Reapers will have come. Just over two days and counting. Puts things in perspective, doesn't it? How do you know that's an accurate countdown? It is. The artifact has been giving off pulses at definite intervals since we found it. The intervals have been decreasing at a steady rate. The artifact is reacting to the Reapers' proximity. In just over 48 hours, the pulses will become constant, and the Reapers will be here. You're saying the Reapers could be at Earth in two days? There's no time to waste. Then let's show you that proof. That door exits the hangar. The artifact is in our central lab area. Alright, let me stock up on some things. to get the project back up and running. Everything was in place when we were arrested. It wasn't a question of could we, but should we? What alternative do we have? The Reapers will reach the system regardless, but the Alpha Relay is their shortcut to the rest of the galaxy. If you want to keep the Reapers at bay, this relay must be destroyed. What about uh, evacuating the Batarians? We have to get the project running again. It's probably the only chance we have. One sec. Let me get the door. Commander Shepard, I give you Object Row. You have the Reaper artifact just sitting here? Out in the open? When we found it, it showed me a vision of the Reaper's arrival. Kenson, this is not good. Give it a moment, Shepard. It'll give you the proof you need. I can't let you start the project, Shepard. I can't let you stop the arrival. Yep, yeah, indoctrinated. No, I'd rather not. We don't want to hurt you, Commander. Lay down your weapons. Your 
Come from No thanks. Oh, that was tense. No glitch. The sedatives aren't working. Security! All right. Oh, really, I can't save. See, I'm blowing this up. That's what I'm doing. Something terrible. 
Oh, there's the uh, beginnings of indoctrination right there. There we go. Suited and booted. Alright. I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. And I'll catch you next time. Take care now.